96, 95. Explorer with the new Satchel 95. 95 Explorer, but it has a newer body style. 96 and I believe until 2001. The problem with this car is that uh, the owner tells me that uh, in the mornings it takes a long time to start, maybe three, four cranks, and then it will die a couple times. Then once he starts, he keeps on, uh, he drags it for about a mile or so. He comes to a light by his house, to stoplight, and um, then the car dies there again. Once he runs it, you know, maybe 15 minutes, 10 minutes, the car will work fine for the rest of the day. So, so far he said that he had the, he had valve replaced, the throttle sensor replaced, as well as the, the intake gasket. You can see there is pretty clean there, right here at the sport. And also the fuel filter, fuel filter has been replaced. I did test uh, the fuel pump. We got it has good pressure. Uh, idle should be 30 to 45. Uh, engine running should be 30 to 40. So we have good pressure there. No problem with the with the pump. So okay. So I was suspecting the spark plugs. You guys can see I pull out the first spark plug from the first side there. I want to show you the gapping says. Uh, Spark plug gap. Sorry, there's should be between 52 and 56. I think I think that light there. Oh. So, I got the spark plug out, and as you guys can see, uh, hopefully you guys can see there. That spark plug is gap at 86. Should be. 52 to 56 and this gap uh, 86 so I'm gonna pull the rest of the spark plugs out no big deal this wire you can pull it from here there's enough space this one you can just grab some little long needle pliers pull it out and for this one you can actually just put your hand there and when you pull you kind of pull up don't pull down because it's gonna make it harder so I'm gonna show you how to replace the spark plugs a lot of video there how to replace them but I'm gonna tell you you don't want to have a hard time get one of those spark plug swivel socket they all fit here nice I'm just gonna show you see how the socket with the four inch extension you're gonna have plenty of space there to pull it out it fits nice same here on the back you need to pull the tire out or anything and this works all the way until the right there until the 2001 2002 explorer so i'm going to pull the spark plugs out for the other side we do need to, re to remove the tire because it's pretty tricky here so pull those spark plugs out and oh i forgot to tell you guys when i pull the spark plug out as you guys can see it has some oil residue residue and the plug was floated with fuel that's why the car wasn't starting so I wanted to show you like I said with this swivel socket pretty easy to pull spark plugs out and this should supposed to be the hardest one on this side but like I said with the swivel okay You can see the spark plug is pretty much done. So let's see how. And I want to show you guys. Look at this spark, this plug. It's gap at 90. So pretty bad right there. So I'm gonna pull the rest out and we'll compare all the gapping. How? Um, okay, guys. This is the second plug on the passenger side. You know, from far, from the front, just want to show you how it's still floated with fuel, still smells like fuel. And look at the gap 95. So, hopefully, this is going to be our problem. And once we fix the plugs, 
uh, the problem is going to be solved. Okay, guys, so as we see the, the gap in those are platinum spark plugs, and they tell most auto parts will tell you you cannot gap them or whatever. But yes, you actually can. All you need is one of those gapping tools. You cannot do it with the regular one. So as we can see, this is a new plug. And this plug, it's a, uh, I'm assuming 52. Right there is kind of a little bit of big there. But this one you see from the factory, it's a 50 and it won't even go there. So the, the way that you got those is you grab them here from the back. And try not to touch the tip there. And you open it like this, and now we can see it goes nicely there. So if you need to push it back, you know you just do the backward, backwards and push it. And that's how we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna be gapping all those. It's always a good idea to to gap those platinum um, plugs. So it's all you need. So don't let uh, any people tell you that you cannot gap those. So. Okay guys, so I replaced the spark plugs. Yeah, I want to show you something that looks pretty, pretty bad to me. Look at that. Those plugs, see? I don't know what's the name of the electro something. And uh, those are the three plugs from the passenger side. We can see the plugs, the plug don't look, at least the electro thing that makes the spark don't, don't look too bad. But look at the ones on the, on the passenger on the driver's side so those we don't know if at some point this engine had a mechanical failure or something mechanical problem and they only replaced the three plugs so we don't know if we still have a problem there so i'm gonna, I'm gonna start the engine and see how it works okay guys so we're still on the 95 96 exploder uh i did uh replace the spark plugs and the car still gave me trouble which is when you show you it has a new EAC valve it's leaking probably stuck open and also the how much uh, smoke is coming from the oil cap so I'm gonna call the owner and let him know see if he wants to replace those parts like I say they seem like they've been replaced already so uh, if not well this is where we're gonna End the video so thank you for watching hello guys uh we've been uh, i'm uh i'm here back on the exploder the 95 with the 96 body style so <clears throat> this is the i end up i replaced the oil cap and the uh, idle control valve but i had a lot of problems with auto zone and really is because mostly auto zone because I ordered this part twice and both times they got it wrong. The connector was totally different. Even though I showed them, I went them and told them and they saw that it was two, there was two connectors that might fit the vehicle. The uh, two idle control plugs with the different connectors. So I ordered it twice and the both times they got it wrong. And the part number were different. So they, I don't know what happened there, but they gave me a couple and with different part numbers and they were still wrong so <clears throat> what i end up doing to use the 90 uh, the uh, nitro control valve for the 96 and up i'm to, to up until 2001 i went to pick and pull and just uh got a new connector so i just got a new a connector so i can use the the newer one <laughs> so um the car has been parked here for two days because the guys were uh the owners were busy and they couldn't pick it up so you can see it's foggy um foggy is uh the cars it's uh there's a lot of moisture on the windshield so uh, having to start the car in 24 hours like i said i replaced the plugs you guys see the other video how bad the plugs were and um the idle control valve and the uh, fuel cap and the problem with the car is it will take a long time to start uh it was um and the, it will take um maybe three four tries and long cranks and even though when the car start uh soon the guy told me he will just drive it for a little bit then he will die again so let's see 
Oh, that was good. So I turn on. I turn on. Seems like it's working good. So. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm gonna take it. I have it parked on the street actually. Because like I said, they had, they were, they, they told me they couldn't pick it up until today. So let me go to my driveway and I'll show you the what I did with the idle control valve. Okay, so I'm gonna, I parked it on my driveway. Let's try it again. Oh yeah, sounds good. So no more stalling, no more trouble, no more long cranks. So, okay, so this is what I mean. Got this connector, um, pick and pull. You guys can see the connectors are totally different. So, you know, <clears throat> so now the car is working good, really good, actually. I'm surprised. Like I say, I park it for 48 hours, over 48 hours, and the car just start right up. So, um, so this video will help you will help you find your problem, solve your problem. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That, that helps me, or the, at least that helps uh, share the video to more people. Every time you give a thumbs up, uh, it will help the video to be shared with more people. So, appreciate it. Um, thank you for watching and remember, uh, this video is here because we're trying to save you some money and for some people it could be just easy to do this uh, and thank you